about to get all cheesy up in here. I love you, someone whom I've never looked in the eye, but I imagine when our pupils finally do meet for the first time, all of your eyelashes will dance away as though this airport is a ballroom. Whenever we talk, the contents of my insides become noisy, as though they are filled with cicadas, rubbing their wings together, ready to take flight the way I am ready to just kiss you already. I crocheted you countless scars when my grandparents sent me three full boxes of yarn. And there is an East Asian proverb that we all have red yarn tied to our pinkies. It will one day lead us to someone we are destined to meet. And I keep tugging at my red string, waiting for a reaction on the other end, and I think I felt you tug back. I have been looking Ooh. at the miles between us, the maps that show just how far away you truly are, and the miles between us have become a scorching hot chain that I want to crush with knuckles as pale as your smile. I am only going to tell you all of these little things if you want me to, though. And I'm not sure if you would want me to, for I am a civil war, the scars on my stomach going head first for one another, the bones in my fingers do not click together the way they should, but all my clenched fists want is to hold your hand. Woo! I do not crochet anymore. But I'm trying to pick up embroidery, so tell me your favorite color, maybe it's green, or your favorite love poem, and I will put that together into a sampler for you to hang over your bedroom. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> um, perhaps I will learn how to embroider the miles between us together so they intertwine our two states. We see the same moon. But darling, that is not enough because my silhouette has been melting since the day we were first introduced. I'm wondering if maybe I could put it in your freezer. This is a love poem. Or maybe this is things to tell you while we're dating, a letter to leave on, your first, on our first anniversary on your pillow, tied with a ribbon. Or maybe this is a love poem I'll only spit here. A love poem that stays in my little green notebook forever. This could be just a secret.